Five years ago, I 3D printed this, a vise for holding circuit boards. I use it all the time. It's one of my most useful tools. Two complaints. The handle's too short, gets blocked by the threaded rods, and the threaded rod pitch is too slow. It takes forever to crank this thing tight. And it took 17 hours to print this. So I made a new one. And the new one only took six hours. And it's got a longer handle and faster pitch. So how did I do it? I'll explain it all. On today's film on Friday. This video is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. This video is also brought to you by PCBWay.com. This is the original vice that I printed. It's by user the Goofy on Thingiverse called Yet Another Machine Vice. Then user Bits Plus Adams on Thingiverse improved it to make it move a lot faster. So I want to print a new one that has these improvements that Bits Plus Adams created, which is really just changing the thread pitch. Five years ago, I printed it on my CR10. It was my first Creality printer. It cost about $400 back then, and I did it as two separate files. And because I did them back to back on one printer, it took 17 hours to print it. For the new one, I'm gonna print two separate files, and I also can print on two separate printers because printer prices have come down. So now I can get two printers for $400 and print in parallel. But I'm also gonna use my extra fast profile and a new 1.2 layer height extra fast profile to speed things up even more. Now I could print this on an Ender 3, everything would fit, and I could just use the low quality Cura profile at a 20% infill, 17 hours, same as before. So instead I'm gonna use my 0.28 extra fast profile. If I slice it and that's 25%, I can get this thing down to 10 hours and 37 minutes on one bed. Now I wanna do better than that. And the creator recommends that you print the threaded pieces at a finer layer height. So that's why there's two separate files. So I wanna do the same thing. 0.2 layer height on my Ender 2 Pro prints really good. So I just took my extra fast profile and just changed the layer height to 0.2 to see how it would print. I wondered if it would make a difference. And oh my God, it did. Look at this, here's the 0.28 next to the 0.20. And I really didn't lose a whole lot of time. And you can see by this how much better it works. It just spins. So now I have two profiles. So how much do you lose? Well, if I printed everything on an Ender 3 at that 0.2 extra fast profile, this is 12 hours. So it's an hour and a half longer than the 0.28. Now I wanted my own improvement, a longer handle to make it easier to grab. So I brought the original into Tinkercad, made a duplicate. Then I brought a whole block and made that take away the bottom portion of the handle. So when I grouped it together, I ended up with just the top section. Then I move that top section on top of the old handle, and then I use the centering tool to center the two to each other, and then I just grouped it together, and then I had a much longer handle. So I exported a .stl file from Tinkercad, and now I'm gonna print this on the Ender 2 Pro, along with all the threaded rod pieces and even the two pieces that hold the circuit board. And I'm gonna print those at the 0.20 extra fast profile to get a little more resolution. It said six hours to print that. Then on the Ender 3, I'm gonna print the rest of the parts, which is the base and then the pins that hold it together. I'm gonna to use the 0.28 extra fast profile, five hours and 46 minutes, so a good split. Six hours later, here's everything, and it looks really good. So the first step is to screw these things onto the threaded rods, and then put that inside the base along with the handle, and now this thing can move. So the next step is to just add the pins that hold this thing together. I guess I could have put the other pieces on first, but these went in pretty easy in spots and in other spots they're tough, so they needed a little persuasion with a hammer. The last two pieces were the inserts that actually hold the circuit board. Those snapped into place, and after that, this thing is done. I could instantly tell by turning it this thing was significantly faster than the old one. So here's an example. If I have a Chipino board that I soldered and then I want to switch to, say, a E-Leveler, I have to turn this thing like 17 times to get this thing to move. Way too long. With the Chipino board in place, the threaded rods would block that old handle, so this longer handle is really nice. And to go to the smaller board, four and a half turns. That's a lot faster. This is a great addition to my electronics workbench when I'm soldering circuit boards. And speaking of circuit boards, PCBWay.com is a great place to get low-cost circuit boards, but you can also get assembly services. 
You can supply them the parts or give them a bill of material with the parts list. They will track down the parts, solder things together, review it with you during the process, and at the end ship you completely assembled boards. So if you're looking for a manufacturing partner for your electronics designs, check out PCBWay.com. So yes, I did cheat a little bit by using two printers, but I stayed within the same budget as I did before. And I did use my extra fast profiles, which made everything faster. But you know, the thing is, speed costs money. So how fast do you want to go? I mean, yes, you can get a machine that's going to print a 17-minute Benchy, but you're going to spend over $1,000 for that machine, where for $400, if I can split up the designs and print them on these, great. And that's part of the reason why I've had the Ender 2 Pro on the channel so much. Not only do I think it's a great starter printer, but it's a low-cost secondary printer to allow you to print things a lot faster. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon's one way. If nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time, right here at Filament Friday.